Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is my second impression for the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. And as you can see, my character is quite different from before. And right now I'm level 10. I used to be, I think, level like 4 or 5. And I have finally unlocked a lot of new content, which will reset in just a few seconds. I thought I was right on time, but okay. So anyway, since the day has not reset yet, I do have a lot of things to pop open. I have not summoned anything since I started playing this game, which was like, I think three days ago. So I will start off with the free chest, of course, to take away my bad luck. Right. Okay, so that... Whoa, that's actually really good. <laughs> okay, um... Great, I want to buy this actually, sold out. Um, so, okay, in this game, you could either spend diamonds to open these chests, or you could collect keys, which are <coughs> actually pretty free to play. Um, although you could use diamonds to buy these keys, which is a little bit more valuable. Like you see, 70 diamonds for 5 keys for the epic chest, whereas one epic chest itself costs 150, which is... If you, buy t if you buy 10 keys, that's just 140 diamonds, so it's good to always purchase these keys whenever you can, I think. I mean, it's better than just buying the chest right off the bat for 150. Okay, so with that said, I still have um, 8 rare summons, 2 epic summons, 3 actually, I'll be using my diamonds for this, and 2 arena chests, and then after that I will go through the... The, the different content that the game has now that I've unlocked everything. Okay, so open. Let's go. Okay, so blue, I think that's like just a basic item. Yeah. <clears throat> feet again. Yes, feet. So nothing great from the boxes so far. I wish they had like a use all your keys function though, rather than just observing the animation repeatedly. Cool, that was good. Dark Knight Hammer. So the game does have elemental advantages, so do keep that in mind. Alright, so this is where I want the goods from. Okay, as you can see, there is this lucky meter. I'm not too sure what it is, but you see, there's this chance to get a powerful item. Um, I am not sure what that means, but as you can see right here, I have like a, a little blue bar that's been built so far. So, I assume that the more I pull, the, 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 the more this bar gets filled up. So, I've done 8. So, I'd assume it would be about 30 or so pulls and then I'll get to experience what's, what that thing does. But also you can see the drop rates from the boxes. So just right below the chance to get a powerful item, there's a potential loot with a question mark. Press the question mark and you get the percentages. So, um, well, of course, the objective is to get a 5 star, but to, in order to get a 5 star, it's, you need to do about 200 pulls to get an expected 5 star. So without further ado, let's do it with the keys. Five star, five star, five star. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so there's a three, I think. Yeah, three stars. Uh, there are different rarities to your loot, by the way. So, a blue background like this, the shield has a blue background. That just means it's like a basic kind of item. If it's a green, I think it's a set. It's like a set. Yes, yeah, like a set bonus or something. Um, yeah, like so. I believe this is a set item. Let's check it out. Yeah, as you can see at the bottom, there is like this Venom thing. Actually, this is perfect. I really needed this uh, Ember set piece because I already have the Ember bot, uh, the Ember armor that I got from crafting. So that's nice. And then now Arena chest. It does drop two star items so. But uh, all in all, um, it's kind of a stretch to expect a five star. But the four star chance is pretty good, twelve percent. Alright, I got a 50%. <laughs> I got a 50% loot. Okay, there's a bit of a lead. 
One thing about this game is that they do tend to have like random legs, which I don't really understand why. Alright, today's not my day. Oh wait, no, it's a, it's a three star. Hmm, okay. Anyway, so let's move on. Um, yeah, I really want to equip that new helmet though. Uh, equip. Yeah, my stats did decrease, but wow, I look badass. Okay, so anyway, um, yeah, I could upgrade this for a bit. Bam, bam, bam. And like so. Okay, so this is your, this is like your homepage, and then um, under trials, you will notice a few things. Um, so basically, that's like your typical resource grinds, your promote stones, which is what you use to promote your gear from three stars to four stars. Okay, there are a few ways to go about promoting your items, or uh, your equipments. One is to just do a promote using these stones. So, you, like, you're gonna improve a 1 star to a 2 star equipment you use about 10 stones and you get these stones from promote I mean from these promoting dungeons or the other alternative is to max level 2 1 star gear and you combine them together so that's another way so yeah that's how you actually improve your gear without uh, having to pull from these chests oh wait 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 oh daily reward Okay, thank you for the gold. Thank you, thank you. So, other than the promote stones castles, there is also the gold castle, which is another typical daily grind. Gold is like, it's 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 like a basic resource for everything. Everything has a gold sink, so you need gold a lot. So do complete this every single time. See, there's a bit of a lag. The screen went white for a bit. Uh, and then next, these two are a little bit more interesting. For nature fever or like water fever and like. Um, that's the fire version. You cannot assess these without fully equipped with nature armor or the element that they require. So for this for this case, I am fully equipped with fire, and unfortunately, I can't show you how this dungeon looks like because um, I only have like a complete fire set. I think. Let me check. Like, am I able to? Yeah, I have a. I have a nature weapon, I have a nature shield, nature pants, I do not have nature gloves, so I cannot assess it, unfortunately. Even if I choose not to equip the item piece, uh, like, like let's say I leave out my gloves, but I have nature for everything else, I still cannot assess the dungeon, so yeah, ooh, nice. So that, what I just received from the mail was, uh, if you look at the top, there is that little golden ticket with a number 3 next to it. I was puzzled by what that was, but actually ju that's just a skip ticket. So like say, I'm too lazy to clear this stage, or like it takes too much of my time, I will just use a skip ticket. Okay, and then moving on to the Keeper's Colosseum. This is a bit different. Um, basically, you clear stages and get points, and then there is like, there is like milestone rewards, so we got 22 um, Right, so I've cleared like quite a few Reward 1, Reward 2, Reward 3 And now I'm going on to Reward 4 And it requires 800 points This is cumulative by the way So I've, I've obtained 496 throughout my entire life Yeah, as you can see, it's like 496 out of what 5,000 blah 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 It goes up to 600,000 um, Yeah, and then there is also Ranking Reward So this Colosseum actually closes, uh, I think, on a weekly basis. So there's like two days left, and this lag, I do not understand why. Uh, okay, I'll just move on. Okay, so I will show you how this Keeper Colosseum looks like. Um, but first, let's find out what I can do. 100k, no thanks. Wait, that was what? Torment 3, is it? No, that was Torment. Okay. So I can only do Torment 2 because my power range, my might, is only 36,000 as you can see below my character. So this is like, uh, kind of like a good range for me to, to, to take part in. <coughs> so basically in this you need to survive throughout the entire 1.5 minutes. And you see the top right, that's the duration. So you need to survive through this 1.5 minutes and you need to kill all of the characters as well. All of the enemies I mean. 
And there's a little bit of a lag, but I think it should go away soon. Right, so it's like a race against time, but at the same time, it's a race against your survivability as well. And it's. Um, and you also have to kill all the enemies. For like, I think there's like six waves. I'm not too sure. You can get, you can do the counting for me and let me know how many there are. Oh no, I'm slow. Uh. You can actually press and hold the uh, anywhere on the screen, and you automatically attack. But there, there is that slight delay where, um, before you actually start hitting. So like, if I press now. Bam, there is like that 0. Point something seconds, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I couldn't escape that because of the slow that the bat does. So that's kind of annoying, but that's fine. Oh man, if only I killed him before he summoned. No. Oh, scrub. I'm a scrub. I'm like the kind of guy that leaves some ads for other people to clear. <laughs> okay, so so far it's actually pretty easy. I think I could try doing the other difficulty one. I think. But the thing is, if I fail, it will still count as an, a single entry, entry into the dungeon. So I only have three chances a day. But for science, I shall find out. I think the entry requirement was like 55,000 But this is kinda like too easy, right? So that's it um, <clears throat> Okay, I'll try doing the harder one But first, I will equip the best gears that I have Because currently I'm just equipping a full fire set But I do have this nature pants that has, has a lot better stats Yeah, so there is this like this uh, global ranking system. Okay, there's a bit of a lag. Okay. Yep. And no, nope, I I need this hat. Okay, going back to trials. Keep us Coliseum. Let's try <coughs> going way. <coughs> sorry, sorry about my throat. By the way. This is way out of my league, but all the best. Fingers crossed. Well, hopefully I could get like a decent score. Um, I got like, what, 80 something? Okay, I'll, I'll check back the video and see whether is this worth it or not. To fail in a higher difficulty map. Well, that's not too bad. Oh my goodness, you'll just see my HP plummet. Okay, this is not happening. Do I get any points for this? I killed three. <coughs> Level complete. Okay, five points. So this is not worth it. So you should only do um, the floor where you can comfortably clear it. Because as you could, as you could see, I killed three skeletons and that wasn't even enough to get any points at all. I only got like a, a consolation prize of 5. So yeah. Should take note of that. So this is just like one of the or rather three of the types of game modes that this game has. Um, but also, I mean like apart from adventure of course, uh, there is the arena. So uh, when I first started trying out this game, it didn't have the arena, it didn't really have a lot of these content that they currently have. So when I downloaded it, just like a few hours later, they decided to patch the game. And after patching the game, I they, they did in, implement a lot of new features, one of them being the arena. As you can see, it's a 4 player arena, and how does it look like? It is actually a 4 player free for all. So, like so, you go in, and then, bam. But one thing you would quickly notice is that, hey, why was it that I'm the only one who came out from that portal, right? I mean like the, the, the starting area. 
So why am I the only one who came out from there? So that's because um, all these characters, even though they could be real players, they are controlled, unfortunately, by the bot. So... Yeah, it's it's not going to... It's, it's not like a, a real-time PvP thing, unfortunately. Um, which is one of the factors that I find that the game is kind of lacking in because it just feels so stale sometimes. Like, I mean, I've, I've only played it for like just a few days, but I feel like there isn't a lot of life going on in this title. Uh, most of the time, it's just really like uh, PVE, it's all really PVE. So there's nothing truly interactive going on in this game. You don't really get to experience uh, non-AI content. There is no non-AI content. Everything is all you against the AI. That's all. The only thing that is that is remotely online is the fact that um, there is a chat function. But the chat function, uh, that, that's not really it's not really that active based on what I can see. But yeah, so as you clear arenas, you get like 20 something keys. If you do the best, that is, if you kill the most characters, <coughs> you get like 20 something keys and a bunch of like trophies. The trophies is just meant for a ranking. <laughs> the keys is meant to unlock the treasure chest that you saw me unlock at the start of the video. Which is like on the right of the epic chest. Apparently it drops like set pieces. So that's nice. Boom. GG. So what I like to do is just hang around and like let them kill each other and then go in for the kill because they're all like <coughs> PvP characters. I mean they're, they're all controlled by the AI. So they're kinda done the dumb sometimes. But oh man, I am not doing this. Okay, so hopefully you get to see me not get the best kills for this game. So you get to understand what I mean by um, needing to have the most kill. It's really like a mess. It's basically like you just keep reviving and you just keep spam casting from the start. Hopefully you kill everyone. Oh man, I mean, I'm getting the best score, so... Yeah, the more kills you get, the more points you have, but if you do not get the most kills, you only get like a... like a 5 trophies and like 2 keys or something like that. It doesn't even matter how many you have killed, so it only matters if you win. So you have to win this free for all, which is not so hard, to be honest. You see, like this guy, is, he's using a... No, 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 no. I remember there was this one guy who had a 4-star weapon, but even then, it didn't really matter so much. So yeah, 20, 20 keys just by doing one arena. So you just need to do about 5, you just need to win about 5, and you can unlock another chest. So yeah, it's not that bad. Um, okay, so aside from like the fighting content, there is, like what I said earlier, there is the promote. And there is also the combine. So as you can see, promotion. Um, firstly, you need to have a max level gear. Like, say... I'm pretty sure that I had one though. Hmm, alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you need to use <coughs> uh, these promotion things. Yeah, and they can only be found in that, in that dungeon, the daily dungeon grind. And, um... Yeah, so that's promote. I think I should just do a promote for you guys to see. Gloves, let's go. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't see that. Would my rune disappear? Okay, so I didn't get a set piece. Alright, I lost my runes. Ah. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Alright, so my DPS really increased a lot. <coughs> okay, just by the simple fact that... As you can see, the might level really rose insanely I mean I would assume that a five star <coughs> that a five star piece of equipment would be incredibly strong so this game even though it's like a it plays like a RPG it still kind of has the feeling of a 
idol game for some reason. Like, what's that called? The Idol Knights or something like that. There is that there is that game where you uh, you are a knight and you just keep killing flaws and then you just keep restarting from the start. Those kind of reset idol games. It just has that feel to it for some reason. I'm not sure why. Okay, then combine is like <coughs> you can combine two pieces of max level gear. Currently, I don't have uh, the luxury of doing that. You need to combine two of the same weapons. Like, I mean, two weapons of the same rarity and the same max level. You cannot com you cannot combine a pair of hands and a weapon. It doesn't work that way. So you need to combine. Yeah, maybe this will explain. Same time. Yeah. Yeah, so you can combine, I don't think they, yeah, they didn't mention it, but you can combine the same type of gears. Oh yeah, the same type of gears, okay. Uh, so there's also runes where you could equip it on, let's say, I don't have any runes. I don't even know how to find runes, it's kind of rare. They do drop from some of the adventure stages, but they only drop like one. One a day, that's all. So like, say you go to adventure, and you see uh, stage number six. That's a rune, one star, one out of one. I believe this resets. Hmm, it didn't reset though, so what does that mean? Does that mean that it doesn't reset ever? So I only can get that one rune? Tentatively, no, I'm pretty sure it resets because I'm pretty sure I cleared these before. <coughs> so there is also the, the hard mode and like extreme mode, but it's ridiculous. Like you see hard mode, the requirement is 56,000. <laughs> that's that's crazy. I mean, the the highest floor in this whole place is like close to forty thousand, and it starts off at seventeen k. So like the growth of this game, the difficulty spike is immense, as you can see from the first stage, seventeen k, and the tenth stage is forty k. It's that's why it gives me that feel of like I I am supposed to restart my game at this point of time so that I can finally come back and clear this floor. I don't know, that's just how I feel about this game. So, with that said, yeah, so that this is what you can expect um, by the time you reach about level 10. Then this is like the content that you are available to. But do take note that uh, there is those individual element uh, dungeon floors. So, they do drop stuff like like whatever you, might, whatever you may find in the Keeper's Colosseum. Same kind of stuff. However, it is not uh, ranked, so it's just like collect points, collect points, collect points. But I do not know when it will reset though, because I did the fire one, and it's gone because it it just stays for like one day or so. But nature fever stays for two days, so I am unsure why. Maybe on a weekend they do release like more than one. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I think this is a good place to end my video. So this has been the second impression for the mighty quest for epic loot and I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did uh, well feel, feel free to leave a comment down below to let me know how you think to let me know how you feel about the video uh, how you feel about the game as well if you have tried the game tell me how is it for you what are the rare loot that you have found uh, and if you like the video do leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not and I will see you in the next one